Let's go. Uh, okay. Uh, if Nesek wine fell into a cistern of ordinary wine, all of it is prohibited for a benefit. Rabbi Shimon Magamail says it should be all sold to a Gentile except for the value of the Nesek wine that is in it. Okay. Uh, stone wine press, which an idolater created with pitch, one dries it and it is cleansed. With a wooden press, Rabbi, sa Rabbi says he should dry it, but the sages say he must peel off the pitch. But an earthen press, even though it is peeled off the pitch, it is forbidden. If one acquires food utensils from a Gentile, if it's customary way it to immerse, if it, it should immerse it. If to boil, it should boil it. To purge in fire, he should purge in fire. The spit and the grill, one purges in fire, the knife one polishes, and it is purified. Okay. Okay. Hadran Allah Masekhazabadazar. Okay, starting with Avos. Okay. I wrote it down and forgot to take it out. Okay. No worries. Go, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Moshe Kibel Torah Misinai. So Moshe received Torah Misinai, U Misara Yoshua, and he transmitted it to Yoshua. The Yoshua, Lizkainim, is Kainim, and Avim. So, um, and now the interesting thing I wanted to do, we know this Mishnah very well from all the times we've been over it, but I just want to draw your attention to the fact that uh, the difference between the verbs, Moshe Kibel, and all the rest of it is Masora. Uh, okay. okay. So now what I recall from the Maral um, on, this, um, on this subject is that Kabbalah, you can only receive as much as you are as a Kli. So as great as Moshe, as great as Moshe was, he was still a human being. And when Hashem, you know, Hashem Kilu has got the infinite amount of, of wisdom that can pour into him, Moshe can only be Makabil in as much as he is a is a human Kli. So when you're go, going from the infinite to the finite, you're not necessarily going to get everything. As, and, and like with all respect to Moshe Rabbeinu, because he was like obviously the greatest human who ever lived, and uh, and you couldn't have had a better person. But nonetheless, there, there's there is that sort of boundary line between the infinite and the finite. Whereas for, further on, as he passes on to Yeshua, he is is now actively passing on the the Masora, and he will pass on exactly what he received. And it's a, it, the full the full thing. Now it doesn't say that Yeshua was able, uh, you know, was was limited in 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 it, except in that he was just it was just Eurydice Adorus as things go on. So if things fell by the wayside, it wasn't the fault of the person passing it on. Who he, he, he was able to be more so. He, he so he, he he's able to to carry to carry on the Masora uh, with exactly what he received. So that's just an interesting note on the on the verbs over there. Okay, so onto the Anshe Knesset Sagadola, which is um, Anshe Knesset Sagadola actually were, uh, was a was, was a period of of time. It wasn't that there was like one bunch of people all sitting together in one room, um, and uh, now there was there was a reason why they're called Anshe Knesset Sagadola. Uh, I don't I don't recall. Okay, now I, can't, I, can't, I don't recall why why they were specifically named that. Um, anyway, um, so the three things. That I mean, obviously they said a lot of things, but they wanted these ones to be recorded for posterity, particularly. Okay. Um, be very patient in judgment. Don't rush into into judgment uh, as a, um, right? when you when you rush things, you you come you come and distort justice. So it was a very important thing to to have justice. Uh, said uh, to, uh, uh, to have the, the correct justice being determined. Um, and set up a lot of students. And this actually seems to be in contradiction to what um, remember Rabban Gamliel has set up set up guards around the the yeshiva to only let in people who are tocha kabaro. And they're saying no. Set up, set up a lot of people. You you need a lot of people to come in because from a thousand who come in, what was the statement? I mean, uh, tell me the um, Where is the statement? A thousand come and start learning, start learning the Torah. mehem mea, and out of those come a hundred who 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 are able to learn Mishnah. Yotim mehem asara and ten of them will be able to learn Gemara. 
uh, or, to, or Talmud. I suppose in the, in their time they didn't have Gemara, but but basically able being able to be Dorish from from the from the Mishnah and Yotzimah uh, Echad, and then and from those uh, comes out one outstanding individual. So therefore, you have to start with a with a large net in order to come out with some with, with the small number of 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 leaders. Okay, the Asosiag Torah. And make a protective fence around the Torah. In, in other words, don't don't just uh, be satisfied about the fact that okay, the Torah said this is Asur. You need to make protections so that so that people who aren't as who aren't as careful will will not uh, fall into the trap of of uh, of being over on a, on a mitzvah daraisa. So that's why we have mitzvahs darabanan. Okay, Mishnah base Shimon Atzadikai Hamishare Knesset Sagadola. He so he was one of the uh, one of the last members of the Anshe Knesset Sagadola. So there are three things that are the most important in the world. Um, on, on the learning of, of Torah and on um, the service that, that, that is the, the either the temple service, which is talking about in his time, of course, or on, on prayer. Um, and and um, what's interesting again is you have you have three um, you have a, you have a pattern of three over here, um, which corresponds to um, we'll, we'll we'll find a correspondence with the, between this. Now I don't rem, I don't recall if this was right, but let me just take a look because always the Maharal's uh, the Maharal Shita is when you see the same number repeated, it's not a coincidence. There'll there'll be a parallel. You know, there'll there'll be a There'll be a linkage between the, the, the things. So if we look at, at the Anshek Nessus Agadola, the three things that they said. So Matunim Medin and Talmidim Harbe and uh, Siag Latora. Uh, is there actually uh, to be honest, I'm I'm drawing a blank at the first one. Sorry, I was I was just being spontaneous there trying to to draw a parallel between the between the three things. I mean, there's obviously um Talmidim Harbe would be Ala Torah. Uh, Siag Latora. And Matsuni Medin, no, I, I can't, I can't draw the parallel. You'll, you'll need somebody better, better than me to do it. Okay, so but but hold that, hold that in abeyance because I do recall that uh, in in many cases when you've got three things, you'll see that they link back to Torah, Avodah, and Milos Chasadim. Um, um, uh, so but but what I think we do have is Ben Adam le Makom, Ben Adam le Chavero, and Ben Adam le Atzmo. So you've got. Kamilos Chasidim is obviously Ben Adam Le Chavero. Avoda is Ben Adam Le Makom, and Torah is Ben Adam Le Atzmo. So, to make a, so that a person himself himself grows, that he has his relationship with Hashem, and that he has relationship with other people. So there should be a correlation between what the Anshay Amidola said and, and these three statements here. I say be- there should be, but I couldn't tell you offhand what it is. <laughs> Okay, Antigonus ish socho kibel mishimon atzadik. So the next generation is Antigonus. Who are you there? Alti yu kaabadim hamishamishin is sarav almanasli kabel pras ilaha hevu kaabadim hamishamishin is sarav she lo almanasli kabel pras. Don't serve for the sake of reward, serve just because it's the right thing to do. Um, and um, and 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 let the, you know, let the reward come of its own accord. Um, being being that it's a being that it is a a different attitude when you're serving Hashem um, and saying okay it's my gearly I'm, I want I, you know, this reward is something that's that's that that I deserve um, yeah. right he's saying it's like Hashem didn't need to create you Hashem didn't need to do you all these favors and whatever you're going to be getting is going to be so out of proportion to what you actually deserve um, be a bit humble about it um, this is my this is my my reading. Of uh, of how that of of, of uh, how how to understand this, um, right? Do it, but so do it just because Hashem said, and all I want to do is is do what Hashem what Hashem says, and and the reward will come by itself. Vihi mora shemaim aleichem, and let the fear of heaven always be on you, um, even though you're doing um, even though you're doing your service from love, you're nonetheless. Uh, you're nonetheless commanded to to have a yira, to have an actual fear, because you're 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 standing in front of Hashem. Um, so don't get don't get too familiar. Don't. Um, it's, it, this is his, his his perspective on on things is that the yira keeps you 
keeps you safe. Um, and um, you know, Ava is good, but also mix it with Ira. That's uh, that's his perspective. All right, let's go back to Avadazara. Hey, Dalit Aleph. Yeah. Rabbi Shmuel said three stones next to uh, one next to the other, lying next to a Malkalis, are prohibited, but two are permitted. But the Talmud say those which appear to be with it are, are prohibited, but those who, which do not appear to be with it are permitted. If one is found on top of its coins or a garment um, or utensils, these are permitted. But if you found vapes, vines of grapes or wreaths of strange sorts, they are prohibited, or wines with uh, oiled flowers, they are prohibited, or anything the likes of which are brought on the temple altar, they are prohibited. If an idol had a garden or a bath, one may benefit from them without consideration, but one may not benefit from them for consideration. If it belongs to it and it to, to others, one may benefit from them with or without consideration. Okay. Right. Okay. Adios Aleph Yud Aleph. With regard to a bridal chair whose spindles were removed, Beis Shammai declared Chomei Tomei. But Beis Hillel declared Tahor. Beis Shammai says even the uh, Malbim of the um, Malbim of the chair is Tomei. With regard to a chair that one affixed to a kneading trough, Beis Shammai declared for Tomei. Beis Hillel declared it Tahor. Shammai says even the chair made originally to be in, in the kneading trough is susceptible to Tumas Midras. There are three matters by which Beis Hillel reversed to, uh, themselves to henceforth rule in accordance with the view of Beis Shammai. If a woman came from overseas and she said, my husband died overseas, she may marry. My husband died overseas, she may be taken in Yibu. But Beis Hillel says, we have not heard this tradition except in case where she comes from the grain harvest. Beis Shammai said to them, it is the same way that she comes from the harvest, it is the same way that she comes from the harvest of olives, the same way that she comes from the harvest overseas. The rabbi spoke in terms of the harvest only because there was the incident as it happened. Uh, and subsequently, Beis Hillel reversed himself, thankfully, then to thenceforth rule in accordance with Beis Shammai. Beis Shammai says she may remarry and collect her Petuba. Beis Hillel says she may remarry, but she does not collect the Petuba. And Beis Shammai said to them, if you have permitted the grave matter of Irva, so you would not then certainly permit the less matter of money. Beis Hillel said to them, we find that the brothers do not enter in possession of the estate on the basis of her testimony. Beis Shammai said to them, we would we, we, but we can learn this ruling from a Ketuba document. So he writes to her that if you marry another, you will take what is written to you. And Beis Hillel reserves themselves to henceforth rule in accordance with the opinion of Beis Shammai. And we have um, another one, Yud Gimel. This one? I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry, did you do Yud Gimel? Okay, Yud Gimel. One who is half slave and half a free man works one day for the master, one day for himself. These are the words of Beis Hillel. Beis Shammai said to Beis Hillel, you have provided a solution for his master, but for himself, you have not provided a solution. He is not able to marry a slave woman, and he is not able to marry a free woman. Shall he remain idle? But this was not the world created only for the prop 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 propagation, as it is said, and he, God, did not, cre did not create it in the world to be desolate. He formed it to be inhabited. Inhabited for the benefit of society, we force his master, and he, and he must make him a completely free man, and the slave must write him a note for half his value. Subsequently, Beis Hillel reversed himself to the henceforth rule in accordance with the view of Beis Shammai. Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, you, one who lends his neighbor may not exact security from him except in court. Nor may uh, Rabbi Shimon, nor may Rabbi Shimon Ben Gamil says even to the debate debtor himself he need only return it up to thirty days. After thirty days, he sells it in court. We may not exact security from a widow, whether she be poor or rich, as it is said, and you shall not take as security uh, the garment of a widow. One who takes a mill as security transgresses a negative commandment, and he is guilty of taking two utensils, as it is said, you shall not take a lower millstone and an upper millstone as security. They did not speak only of the lower millstone and the upper millstone, but of anything which, 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 for which food wasn't for human consumption is prepared. And as it is said, where he takes away a life as security. It is a gra if a ground floor and an upper floor belonging to two different people collapse. The two of them divide the wood, the stones, the earth, and determine which stones are likely to have been broken. If one of them recognizes some of his stones, he takes them, and they are counted for him in the reckoning. And we have two uh, Yuvamos. Oh, no, you, you got one more for. Oh, yeah, I did it. Yeah. Um, 
Mr. Mr. Bass, yeah. Sorry, if a, ground, if a ground floor and upper floor belong to two people and the upper story partially fell in and the owner of the ground floor does not wish to make repairs, the occupant of the upper story may go and live downstairs until he repairs the upper story for him. Rabiosi says the downstairs one supplies the ceiling and the upper one, up, upstairs one the plaster. Okay. I don't know if that would have one to come on today. But... Yeah, hey, you're vamos. Okay, hey, Dalton. How so? If he performed mama with one and then mama with another, they require two bills of divorce and kalitsa. Mama with one and then a bill of divorce to the other. She requires a bill of divorce and kalitsa. Mama with one and then he would cohabitate with the other. They require two bills of divorce and kalitsa. Mama with one and then he performed kalitsa with the other. The first one requires a bill of divorce. If he gave the bill of divorce to one and then a bill of divorce to the other, they require kalitsa from him. The bill of divorce to one and then he cohabitated with the other. She requires a bill of divorce and Kalitza. The bill of divorce to one and then Mama with the other. She requires a bill of divorce and Kalitza. The bill of divorce to one and then Kalitza to the other. There is nothing after Kalitza. If he performed Kalitza and then performed Kalitza, uh, or he performed Kalitza and then Mama, or gave her a bill of divorce or cohabitated, if he cohabitated with and then cohabitated, or he cohabitated and then performed Mama, and gave a bill of divorce to perform Kalitza, there is nothing after Kalitza. It's the same, it is the same whether it was one Yavam with two Yavamim or one Yavam with one Yavama. If he performed Kalitza and then performed Mama and gave a bill of divorce or cohabitated, or if he cohabitated and then performed Mama and gave a bill of divorce or performed Kalitza, there is nothing after Kalitza, whether at the beginning or in the middle or at the end. However, in the case of cohabitation, when it is at the beginning, there is nothing after it. But when there is the middle or the end, there is something after it. The Bukhama says whether it is cohabitation or Kalitza, and whether it is beginning or the middle or the end, there is nothing after it. Okay. Right. It always seems to me when I'm doing these that the women really have no say in this thing, kind of thing. Like, you know, it's it's almost like that, you know. Well, they're the one, they're the ones who are doing the Kalitza. They right, right. In, in form of the cohabitation and all that, they really have nothing, you know, nothing, you know. So like, you know, being with you, you know, so that they, they have no say in this kind of thing. Well, they obviously do. They're not. They're, nobody gets forced into uh, into a marriage. It always has to be by the woman's consent. Um, that that's uh, and we 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 have a case in 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 uh, in Yavamos where uh, the Yavam is like is a mukeshchin. He's uh, he's got this terrible disease and he's like lo looks gross and smells awful and whatever. And she says, "I don't want. I don't want to marry him. Marry him." And and the the chacham will say, "No, Taki, you're right." And they tell the and they tell the guy, "Listen, submit to chalitza. She doesn't want to marry you. We're not going to force her to marry you, but we will force you to submit to chalitza." If he says, "I don't want to do chalitza. I want to do yibum," and they, say, and they say, "No, no, no, no. You're doing chalitza," and they will and they will use the power of the court to force him to submit to chalitza. So, okay, all right. <clears throat> uh, so yeah. So uh, stones, stones which the plow turned up, or which they were covered, and are laid now laid bare. If there are two, each load, each of a load of two men, they may be removed. If one clears stones from his field, he may take the top ones, but one must leave those which touch the ground. Likewise, a heap of pebbles or a pile of stones, he may take the top ones, but must leave those which touch the ground. And if there's a rocky ground or straw underneath them, they may be removed. One may not build steps by the ravines in the sixth year after the rain. Hold on, hold on. Just a second. Are you on test? Yeah, I just I just did uh, um, seven. I should be on eight. Oh, yes. Okay. Sorry. Right. Beg your pardon. Uh, yeah. We should have started on eight. Okay. We carry on. Sorry. One may have steps by the ravines in the sixth year after the rains have ceased because this would be preparing them for the seventh year. But he may build them in the seventh year after the rains have ceased because this would be preparing them for the eighth year. He may not block them with earth, and he may not make an embankment. Any stone that he can take while stretching out his hand may be removed. Shoulder stones may be taken from anywhere. A contractor may not bring them from anywhere. Which are shoulder stones? Any that cannot be taken with one hand. So Reb says Rebea and Reb Yossi says, as the name implies, those are carried with two or three on the shoulder. One who builds a wall between his own and the public domain may dig down to the rock. What shall he do with the earth? He heaps it up in the public domain and then restores it to order. So Rabbi so says Rabbi Yeshua. The Bikiva says, just as one may not cause damage to the public domain, so one also may not want to restore it to its order. 
They shall what shall they do to the earth? He shall heaps it up on his field in the manner of those who take out manure. Like what if one digs a well, a, a, a trench, or a cave? Okay, and Kalim. Okay. Kalim, hey, there are three uh, Tarbasin. Tarbis the Tarbis of a blood letter is susceptible to becoming tummy with. Midrash Tuma. I'm sorry, Mistress Tuma. The tarbus on which people eat is susceptible to becoming tummy with corpse tumor, and a tarbus of olives is tahor from any form of tumor. There are three bases that which is in front of the bed and that which is in front of the scribes is susceptible to becoming tummy with Midrash Tuma. That is uh, the Luf. The Luf the it's, Luf like a, it's like a counter, yeah. That the Luf is susceptible to becoming a tummy with corpse tumor, and that of the Sabinate is tahor from any form of tumor. There are three peak cases. Uh, Afiforum is susceptible to becoming tummy with midras tumor. A pincus is a strip susceptible for wax, is susceptible to becoming tummy with corpse tumor. And a smooth pincus is tower from any form of tumor. Adkan and I gotta run. Oh, have a great day. I'll see okay. you tomorrow. Cheers. <laughs>